up until now, um, everyone who is in crypto probably knows what is a new term DeFi or at least have heard about it. Um, it is decentralized, uh, decentralized finance, which is a new, new term which has gained a lot of momentum in 2019. And it's basically a traditional finance uh, put on top of the blockchain uh, through a smart contracts. Um, so, you know, as, you know, as a traditional finance for just an example, you know, if you want to get a loan, uh, you, your middleman will be a bank, uh, but into the decentralized finance, your middleman will be smart contract. So this is how I translate the, uh, the DeFi uh, uh, new term. I have been talking about this already a few months ago, a good few months ago, about that I really love the MakerDAO a stable coin on Ethereum. Uh, it is basically a CDP collateralized debt uh, position. Uh, so basically all the DAI uh, which is available is backed up by real assets, by real Ethereum. And uh, this is why it's so interesting because you know we have these a lot of uh, not not very uh, decentralized uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, stable coins, uh, which they say they are backed up by full of their assets. Um, how you know the total markup is worth, um, but probably it's not true. Uh, in this case, you know uh, it is decentralized. You no, know, it's being created in a unique way. Uh, where when you lock up Ethereum on this smart contract, you are able to take some DAI and, uh, you know, m mainly currently it's used for uh, Ethereum long traders uh, with leverage. So basically what they do is they lock up Ethereum, they got more, get more DAI coins with what they purchase more Ethereum. So they lock up that Ethereum again and get more DAI coins and they go these circles till it gets really dangerous. But, you know, this is one of the ways, you know, to increase your stake um, to leveraging Ethereum in, in the decentralized environment. So with the DAI, the DeFi kicked off, you know, all the uh, all these new projects has launched more and more every day. So a very good website to track these projects is DeFi Pulse. It uh, does track the volumes of these projects and there's all kind of different directions. You know, you can borrow uh, on the smart contracts, you can lend, you can trade uh, on DIDX exchange, uh, DAI or with Ethereum. You can long or short trading on decentralized platform. You can uh, swap tokens, you know, these, there are this escrow service where you can, um, for example, you're buying some tokens for somebody, um, you know, you are spending, you know, a thousand US dollars and you want to get five Ethereum, for example, but you don't know this guy, you know, there's always possibility chance that when you, when you send this 1000 DAI to this person, you never got your, get your five Ethereum. So basically how these escrow contracts work, both of the parties send in their funds and then the smart contracts automatically distributes the funds to the uh, buyers and sellers on the both sides. So yeah, this is very interesting, but um, I'm not going to go through all of these uh, smart contracts. I'm going to go through one very particular, which I do think uh, it's uh, very unique and very important. It's called Compound Finance, um, where it has um, two features built in it. So you can lend or borrow um, assets from this platform. So you can borrow your assets similar way as you can do it on MakerDAO to create DAI. You can uh, lock up your assets, Ethereum or... For, I, I'll give you one example, you know, it will be easier to understand. For example, you're an Ethereum miner, yeah. Um, you see, um, you know, you want to invest in more, more mining rigs, you have some Ethereum, but you know, the Ethereum value is quite low and you're not sure, you don't want to exchange this. 
So what you can do, you can do on comp go on compound finance, basically lock up your Ethereum and get out some funds which you can exchange uh, for you know your local currency, buy more mining hardware, and uh, you know after you know maybe you can even make profits from mining hardware and then pay back the borrowed funds. You know it's a called collateralized debt that position where you have funds uh, which are locked up which you are giving to to you get used some funds um, it's a lot, lot of used also in traditional finance currently you know uh, people have a lot of properties you know they they don't have cash uh, they want some cash they you know go to bank you know uh, give the property as a debt to the bank and receive some cash uh, in front you know and where when they pay the cash back to the bank they receive um, their property back this is only one of the examples you know there's many more um, but also the other feature what I did like about compound finance is the lending and which I'm more interested you know um, so basically you can lend out money lend out die lend out ethereum you know lend out these funds um, you can see there is a markets tab you know if you go on their website there is markets and you can see uh, what kind of markets they have and what kind of uh, percentage you will get if you use these markets um, so for example yeah so you can see the markets what they have they have ethereum DAI, usd coin uh, augur coin 0x basic attention tech token and wrapped btc so basically you can lend and borrow these coins and you can see the total uh, supply how many uh, coins have uh, have been lended um, to this platform uh, so basically you, you you know somebody is locking up and then somebody is uh, lending this token so as you know as as uh, for example, DAI, here's 37 million totally is uh, locked up, um, you know, landed coins and 23 of million of these are borrowed. So if the number 23 million is bigger, uh, the supply um, interest rate will be also bigger. And currently it stands at 7.3%. Uh, which is currently, I, I have been monitoring this for a few months and it's currently one of the lowest as there's the growth supply is uh, um, growing and the growth borrowing uh, is not increasing as fast as the um, growth supply and but still 7.3, you know, there's been 11, more than 11% also. Um, it changes all the time. But I don't know any bank uh, which will give you 7.3% 7, 7 um, for keeping your funds on, uh, you know, on savings, uh, savings account or invested in, in, in their bank. Uh, I don't know any, any, any such kind of institution which is going to give you such a large amount of money. So I think this is very significant. And the other way, you know, other bright side or what you can call this you know you don't need any bank or anything you know you just download metamask wallet you had transferred their funds you know and you can do this matter in seconds um, so for example i did uh, try it try it out um, invested in uh, dai uh, how to say uh, application on it check the application so i have uh, check out, checked out DAI and I, I sent 1000 DAI uh, so you just create, create a supply and uh, how many how many DAI you want to invest is lend out um, it's called lending so you can see two days ago I did supply 995 99.5 DAI and received already interest in two days 0 0.46 so it's half a dollar you know it's, it's, it's not much uh, when you look at like this but when you look at like this you invest hundred thousand uh, people invest uh, you know hundred thousand they get seven and a half thousand yearly you know it's it's very significant uh, amount so there is another website localscan.io where you can track um, the websites 
which have the biggest interest rate on these coins on these probably on the stable coins and there are, there's cryptos also um, but you know some of them are not decentralized just be aware bear, bear, bear the vets like poloniex uh, coin list you know some of them are not decentralized and uh, you know of course this is not financial advice to invest in any, any of these and you know smart contracts are still not very secure there could be human errors because humans are developing the smart contract uh, just an example like in 2016 anyone who's been in ethereum since since that period uh, knows that there was a big hack DAO hack um, i also didn't invest in that ico uh, contract uh, where a hacker drained more than true 3 million ethereum and that made the um, ethereum chain split the two to ethereum classic and, and ethereum but yeah that was a long time ago and you know and it's gone already um, but yeah still human errors are possible and you know there's not efficient audits yet um, but also there's people are starting to think about this you know because there is these insurance companies where you can insure your investment into the smart contract um, so if you haven't heard about DeFi uh, yet at all um, I would suggest you you know the, the best way probably is to start with the maker dao dai uh the dai stable coin and uh read about that um seems like all the most of the projects and the big projects are built on top of the ethereum uh, which i really do like as it i do support ethereum uh, a lot as many of you know i've been mining since 2016 ethereum um so i do support it and you know like the maker dao you know there is already uh, 2 million million ethereum locked up to create 86 million DAI stable coins and that's about one percent of the supply imagine what's going to happen to the ethereum price if the DAI gains more popularity you know and it gets bigger and bigger it gets one uh, the it get market cap one billion you know how many ethereum will be locked up into the DAI smart contract then maker DAO? Think about that and what it's going to do to ethereum price um, otherwise you know thanks for watching this video mine hardcore or don't mine at all